Well, frustrations are mounting when it comes to school bus transportation in Monroe County. A photo posted the Facebook that you see here is catching the attention of families demanding change for their students safety. WRTV's Nikki Dimitri is in Bloomington tonight speaking with parents and the school district about what's next. Oh, the buses are overcrowded and I think people don't really think about what that looks like, but I think the picture gave people a very clear image. A week ago, Kelly Pittner posted this photo to Facebook. It came from her daughter who feet in front of her had fellow students sitting in the aisle on her school bus because there were no more seats. I was just envisioning those kids even trying to quickly get out from the aisle on their backpacks getting stuck or getting tripped on. Safety is Pittner's main concern here, so much so the Bloomington mom has driven her three kids, all enrolled in the Monroe County Community School Corporation, to and from school several times since. These are just things that should not be happening and they're all too regular for so many people in our school district and it's really kind of unreal that we're dealing with this. Pittner's post sparked conversation among fellow parents in the district like Katie Bishop. She says overcrowding is an issue her three kids also dealt with on the bus all year. Now all these kids get out on one stop and then they come to the next stop, which is ours. And it's still a full bus. In a statement, the Monroe County Community School Corporation says what happened last week captured in this photo was in part due to the bus driver shortage. After being split up, students boarded the wrong bus, a spokesperson says, and the driver was unaware kids were sitting in the aisle. But according to these moms and district parents, this is just one problem on a long list of issues. And I have a new motto for you here at MCCSC, and it's simple. Oops, we failed you again. The These parents are speaking at a school board meeting last Tuesday. Ago. The district then said it currently had 80 drivers, but needed 140 to operate at full capacity. Our system is currently and potentially has always been designed to fail at our current staffing levels. It was in that same meeting the board voted and approved changes to school start and stop times to help offset the driver shortage. The recommendations came from a committee tasked with resolving the district's transportation issues. These are multifaceted issues and the solutions are not perfect. In Bloomington, Nikki Dementry, WRTV. Indiana State Police tells WRTV it is aware of the photo and its commercial motor vehicle division is working with the Monroe County Community School Corporation to fix the issue. In the statement sent to WRTV today, the district wrote it has reviewed protocols with drivers to ensure this doesn't happen again. If you have an issue like a safety concern on your child's school bus, you can reach out to your district's transportation department or you can contact your school systems administration office.